Hey, this is Fenrir Moon. Thank y'all for tuning in to the discussion of Eternals. UCU discussion have started. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Everybody know by now that Eternals is having a movie. And it come out in phase four. And can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. Uh, this, this, for me, this is like my most anticipated film right now. Oh, yeah. Now, I read the comments. I'm in love with this series. I love everything about this series. Um, the story is great about it and everything. Now, they already cast a few members. Everybody knows who Angela Jolie is, but a lot of people's not really knowing that who Keanu Reeves might play. Now, I made another video discussing who I think Keanu Reeves will play in Eternals. Um, the link will be down there below. Check out the video. You sure did, because I was there. Yeah. I think Keanu Reeves is going to play Druid. He's Druid is also an Eternal in the movie and also in the comic book and it's, I just recently found out that they were saying that it looking like Druick going to be the big bad bad guy in the movie well, I guess you could say you told us so right <laughs> <laughs> but one thing about that is awesome because I think that going to actually be um, Keanu Reeves and everybody know that Marvel gonna make this Eternal movie an origin movie, which is awesome because the where if they're gonna follow the comic book, I know they do loosely base, mm -hmm. but if they, I just hope they try to stay close <clears throat> to the comic book as possible because that right there in itself, that's like three movies right there within itself, right oh, there. Yeah, the I like book. what the comic book did. So if they if they try to emulate as much as they possibly can of that with you know still putting their own spin on it I think that would be great because you know I, I like the, I like when they take risks and do different things but I, I think this is such a good you know good material to work with they should use a lot of it yeah most definitely I think it should definitely use a lot of the material because it's going to be like the what the origin in a way the origin of the MCU history because it goes so far back they right. can show how it led into what the yeah. Eternals connect to mutants too, right? Yeah, they commu commu uh, connected to mutants because um, the X gene. Yeah, the X gene and humans. They connect. They actually Eternals. It actually kind of like connected to the um, the e Inhumans. Mm -hmm. The reason why I say that because yeah. one of the older when the Inhumans first came out, one of the very old first comic books that the Inhumans. It was a um, like a like an android bot that the Eternals, not the Eternal, but a Celestial, had put down here on Earth, and the founder, the leader, the very first leader in, in, in humans, he came across the um, the crystal, mm -hmm. and but the um, robot that the Celestial put down on there, he detected that they were using that power and he came to them he came towards them because he thought oh, they was doing something with the celestial because celestial had something to do with the um the etching like the crystal mist and everything they had oh the terrigan terrigan mist terrigan mist huh? yeah so he had they had to deal with all of that um and so but the robot left him alone because he figured that's how the Celestial wanted them to actually the human race to evolve that way so he left him alone so that is a little history if a little history on that that the Celestial and the humans got some connection together because actually the Celestial wanted to put the cryogen crystal down mm -hmm. for them to be able to use it and the leader of the um, the very first leader in humans he discovered it yeah, because I, I, I see this is a very important film, Be, uh, The Eternals, because think about it, they, they connect, it is, in a way right now, you can kind of look at it, it's like, it's like, it's like in the middle, yeah. because it's connected to the Celestials, which is beyond them, 
and then it's connected to everything that happened on Earth in the future. Right. Because what the Celestials did created them and then the Deviants. So we all know Thanos, you know, he had the Deviant gene. That's why he looked look like what? I don't know. A bag of grapes? I don't know. But <laughs> rotten grapes. But uh, yeah, that, that's why he looked the way he looked because, you know, he's an Eternal, but he had... He had the uh, the bad genes or whatever, yeah, the, the undesired genes and and so forth and so on. And then uh, Lady Death manipulated him bad yeah. as she did to make him crazy. But he could very well show up in this film, I think. Yeah, he very well. I heard it's a place for it. Yeah, I heard something about Thanos going to be in the Eternal. Now, if they actually not trying to stick with the story and, and try to be just straight loose, not loosely based, but straight loose, yeah, that is possible. Yeah, that will actually happen. Yeah, because Thanos is a deviant e- eternal, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, but one thing about it, if they're going strictly with the eternal, it sh- Thanos shouldn't even exist right now. Because, not least in the first movie, I mean, because in the movie, they do bring it up to around this time. Unless they talking about that's how Thanos could be back in the movie. Because in the in um, in the comic book, they starts out in the modern time. So, I don't know how they're going to be able to actually put, that, put Thanos in the story. Because that means that Thanos, Thanos did the snap. Did he kill the Eternals? And why they didn't show up? Because they sold purpose to actually protect Earth, the humans, and keep the deviants on and like in order. That's what their sole purpose are. So they got like an eternal slash deviant going around causing chaos when they come to Earth when he come to Earth, why they didn't help why they didn't help, why the Eternals didn't help him out before he even did the snap. See, I don't know how they gonna be able to manage to put Thanos in the movie. But it is in the modern day times when it first when the comic book first starts out. But at least the one I have, so I don't know how they're gonna work that. I don't even know how they're gonna make any sense. But we know Marvel; they have a ways to actually twisting and bending things to fit in things that supposedly make sense. Sometimes, you know. I think if they if they plan on doing a trilogy. I think they should start like, you know, from what you can call the beginning for the Eternals, and then maybe the second movie, you know, so a, a different change in timeline and, or a different era, and then the final be now. Yeah. Or if they're not gonna do that, then I, I would say start at modern times and just have them reflect back to yeah. a lot of things. Yeah, because they you do. Know? Yeah, because they do have that. Actually, in the comic book, because they start off the modern day time, um, but a lot of the Eternals, not a, pretty much all the Eternals, don't know who they are, mm-hmm. so they're stuck in human form. They don't even know they have abilities, so forth and so forth. Now, one of the Eternals, he's not the leader, but he's the um, I can't remember his name at this moment, but he's the one of the guy. He's the main. When it, like basically like second in command when the guy the top guy ain't there he's pretty much pretty much rules it over the blonde the, hair dude yeah yeah Icarus the, Icarus yes yeah, it's Icarus. Icarus he's 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 the only one that realized that something is not right that they have much more they're they're much more powerful being than actually they appears to be so. He go around and actually try to awaken the other inter- Eternals, you know. Um, like I said, all the Eternals do not know who they actually are, except one, Spike. He the only one know who everybody actually is, simply because he casts a spell on everybody to wipe everybody's memory. Now, the girl, I think, um, play in... Stranger Things. Um, I think her name is um, Millie. Mill. I can't pronounce. I can't. Oh, really. like a Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah, that's it right there. It's well, my prerogative. <laughs> okay, I'm just. <laughs> well, they reportedly said that she was cast for the role, not for Spike. They didn't actually pretty much say what role, but everybody know it would be Spike because he's the only 
kid in the Eternals so far what I see in my comic book it could be multiple ones but in there in the comic book I have now they only talk about Spike so that's the role that she would play but they actually did um, ask her in an interview did she know anything about Marvel about her being cast she said to her to her knowledge no and for her family knowledge no but they're on the reporters I guess you know trying to slip some in like it could be a little white lie because she really don't want it because we know how Marvel does Marvel shoot out different stories shoot out different this and this and that just to throw us off and then when we go see the movie they there or almost at the movie they there but at the Comic Con this coming out on July 18th they said that they on the panel they supposed to be revealing um Eternals the cast and everything and they did reported that Keanu Reeves gonna be there now I actually think if Keanu Reeves is gonna actually be there for Eternal movies he have he gonna play Druid because it actually looked like him and it looked like he will actually play that character role pretty awesome and because if you think about it Keanu Reeves they wanted Keanu Reeves for I don't know how long but since the beginning of MCU for what I saw reports and heard about that they've been every Marvel movie before they even they coming up with a Marvel movie I did or whatever they always actually talk with Keanu Reeves and see if you want to play that role I don't know if it's true, but yeah, I don't, I'm not really so. Don't quote me if that's true or not, but that's basically what I, that's pretty much what I heard. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then also, um, since they've been going after Keanu Reeves that heavily, Eternals. If they go completely off this comic book, that's gonna be three movies leading to three movies. I don't know why I'm about to say leading to what besides three movies, but um, mm. <laughs> but um. Keanu Reeves a lot can be done with Eternals though. yeah Keanu Reeves cannot be in there since they want him so bad so he cannot be in the movie for a very small part and that's it so I'm guessing already I'm going to put this out there I'm guessing right now they already planning on doing multiple movies for Eternals but they're not going to um, announce it quite yet until they see the reaction or how Eternals do in the box office that's when they probably come out and saying that they're actually going to be doing um, more Eternal movies. A lot of people are like, yeah, of course they're going to base it off that. Of course, but I guarantee you all that is already in development. Because the reason why I'm saying that be reason why because Kevin Feige had a report about Black Panther. And he was talking about Black Panther 2. And he was saying they were at, when he was actually doing the, uh, the first script of Black Panther, they would be talking and talking about plans for the second Black Panther 2 so by them doing that he basically revealed to a lot of us that that's what they do in the studio just in case those don't didn't put that together or doesn't don't know that they they probably one of the ones that doesn't know that they're probably like oh okay so they just not start developing that movie now nah, they already had that in plan for as I can tell they just waiting to see how it gonna do and that's the reason why they don't announce it pronounce announce it right now but I think the Eternals movie is going to actually do well because look at the cast they got going on and of course everybody loves Keanu Reeves so everybody going to be going to Keanu Reeves it's just to support Keanu Reeves because the man's good like that and he's hot right now he's hot right now you know John Wick John Wick 1, 2, and 3 but um that's pretty much what I, uh, I'm thinking that who Keanu Reeves is going to play uh, Miss what it would ain't Bobby Millie Bobby Brown Millie Bobby Brown mm-hmm. um, I think when she gonna play Spike if she's actually cast but I think she actually is cast cause like I said before you know how MCU they actually tell their actress and actors to say certain things just to see the crowd reaction I'm just gonna call her BDB um, call her BDB I'm <laughs> <laughs> on the set where I'm like you know what? I'm just gonna call you BDB. B. B to the B. B. Bobby Brown. Yeah, it look like I wouldn't know that name, Bobby Brown. B. B. Is, yeah, but I don't. I don't know about that. But and BDB. BDB. She's a good actress, though. Yeah, yeah I'm know. pissed off with that bullying bullshit. I'll tell you about that. Oh yeah, when they were bullying um, I forgot um, Lexa Rob 
Yeah, not yeah. her, but that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what it was. I don't know why they picking on these little girls out here. Yeah, people are evil. Yeah, people are stupid. Yeah, that that's just wrong. And try to claim yourself a true fan. I know we're going a little bit off topic, but it's dealing with comics, and we all we love comics. So you know, reason why I'm just bringing this part up because the fans supposed to actually. You know, went to social media and lashed out at her because he trying to walk up to her and talk to her, but he couldn't talk to her. I don't. That's a little part I read in the article, if my understanding is correct. But I'm like this, dude. You're a grown man. This is a little girl. I mean, I, I know she's an actor. I know she's in that entertainment business. But that if was I, Iron Man daughter, right? Yeah, that's Iron, Iron Man daughter. daughter. I can't remember. And in Avengers Endgame, oh, Alexia, uh, Lexi, Lexi, Rob. Okay. Yeah, Robbie, Rob, something like that. Um, what thing? Yeah, and she he couldn't talk to her. She's a little girl. If I had a little girl and she was in the entertainment business, I'm definitely going to still watch grown fans, adult fans, just walk up on my child. I'm not going to do that since because how the world is with a lot of you know what. But check it out. Best example. He reacted like that because they stopped him from speaking to her. He went to social media and blasted on her. You gonna imagine if he was able to actually talk to her and get close to her. If he had a that childish reaction and go on social media and bully her, just don't imagine what he would have did if he'd been close on to her and talked to her. So I applaud if the, if it actually went down like the family told him no, they're not gonna speak to her. I actually applaud. applaud her parents for stopping that so-called fan. And the reason why I call him a so-called fan, the reason why it pissed me off because he's saying he's an adult fan because it, it play, it paints a bad picture on real fan like you and I. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we all know, we because you know, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of hate towards Marvel, Marvel movies, comic book fans and stuff. There's a lot of hate with that. It's because of change, man. Yeah, because of change. There's a lot of hate. People with don't that. like to change. They don't like to adapt. Yeah. They like to be stuck in their thing. Want, want to have control, but you can't control the world. All you can do is adapt and flow with it. Yeah. That's all you can do. But and then it's like so if like I'm a fan, you a fan, true fans. We understand if we're going over there and try to talk to uh, Lessa, Alexa. And we know her parents say, no, uh, she's not really talking right now. We all would know, like, okay, cool, cool. I'm just glad that, you know, glad for that. I can still, you know, but just glad, hey, you know, just, you know, but you keep going. You're not going to go on a, we're not going to go on a social media and say, oh, and start bullying a little girl. But by that dude claiming he's a fan of, like, comic books, people start looking at us like we, that type of, type of, um, yeah, person, that type of fan. Well, I'm here to speak. And I'm hoping I'm speaking for a lot of other, a lot of other Marvel fans, a lot of comic book fans in general. Period, period, period. We're not that. We're not dirt like that. We respect our um, actors and actresses that are actually making our <laughs> heroes that come on the big screen alive. You know that we can go enjoy that our superheroes on the big screen. You know, so we not yeah. dirt like that one so-called call himself a fan. He's not really a fan. He's just a dirt, a dirt ball. And we do not associate that type of behavior with our fan community. So yeah. he's not a part of us. I don't know who he's a part of, but he's not a part of us. So I just wanted to say that. And that's pretty much all I'm going to pretty much say on the discussion today. Um, unless we had anything else to say on the discussion. Um. Oh, did we did we cover who you who you think um Angelina Jolie might be playing? Oh, they already already know. They already know. Oh, okay. I think her name Cersei. is Cersei. Cersei. Okay. Yeah. Was she also? Um... Oh, that's oh. Thanks for saying that because I also remember that they can actually go. They can actually make this right. This TV. They can actually make this movie. Into a TV show because we yeah. do know Kevin Feige, he's starting to focus more on television. So, what Kevin, I'm hoping this right here can happen like they can make like the first two movies of this or the first three movies, or the, you know, whatever, explain the story of um, pretty much Eternals and how they can actually. Because in the comic book, a lot of people don't know that 
here on earth itself there is a sleepy a sleeping um, celestial he's down here on earth so he's actually sleeping right now in earth like inside of earth and they explain that and they wake him up and everything he actually was a um, kind of like a rogue celestial and he wasn't doing following like the um, rules and laws that the other celestials have and those celestials put him to sleep and but they buried him in earth so if they go on that route that's also awesome I was gonna say one thing. Mm-hmm. It just make you wonder when you think about all that. How many big mofos do they have buried in the ground? <laughs> okay, we got the celestial, we got Midgard swarm. You know, that's the, the Midgard serpent, that big oh, yeah. thing that you know Thor got to deal with and all that. Yeah. yeah. And then we got Godzilla <laughs> and all oh, of the no, all no, of no, the no, no, kaiju. No. I mean, how many big creatures hiding in the earth that we don't know about, and then all of a sudden they just pop out of it nowhere? They be like, "How are we supposed to deal with this?" Riddle me that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, I really think the movie will do really great. I think that I think it's actually, so. yeah, I think it's actually gonna bo- bro- break box office records also. So I think it's gonna do a really good job. Um, oh, before we go, you know what I want to say? I know everybody be thinking about this. Come on now. When Thanos did that snap, yeah, we're talking about the snap, the blip, whatever they want to call it now. <laughs> this is just stuck with the snap. But anyway, when, uh, when he did that snap, just think about it. The people he didn't kill, right? And then the fact he did kill people at all, that's going to bring the attention of a lot of beings yeah. to Earth. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That yeah. might is where well, Galactus is, is attracted to this area. Yep. Because he wanted to probably know what the heck happened. He might have lost a herald or something. Yeah. One of his heralds. So, Who knows? But that's going to, that's going, I mean, the Shi'ar Empire might want to see what's going on. Mm-hmm. We already know the Scrolls and Cree interested in this neck of the woods. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's like, it's other things too. Yeah, so I, um, it's so many things they can go in the direction. And oh, yeah, no, that's why I was also saying that they can make this about two or three movies, if two, if possible. And then when they finish the movie, because. At the end of the comic book, they searching for the 90, 90, 90, it's 90 other Eternals out there on Earth that trapped in their human form don't know who they are. Wow, I wonder if they're going to use that. I, I hope so. I if hope they don't so. use it in the movie, they definitely can put it, make it into a TV show and they can actually go around fighting and going around, going to these different um, characters. Come out the wazoo, wazoo, then. Then. Curtains be coming out everywhere. Yeah. So I'm probably pretty much done to wipe this up. Seriously, this time about to wrap it up. Um, unless you know how we do. Yeah. You see you all the way. United Comics Universe. Yeah. We are comics. Before we get out of here, though, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Who's gonna be playing who in Eternals? And do you agree with their choices? And what do you think about is the Eternals going to break record boss office when they come out? Yes, indeed. Because it'll be an act of kindness. Yep. Because if <laughs> And that's just so easy for you to do in life. Just hit that subscribe button. It's so easy for you to do. Just be kind. Bah! Mean nothing to you, but mean a great thing to other people. Yes. You know just what I'm saying? Subscribe. And you know what? Might as well hit the notifications button. Especially if you liked anything in this video. Yeah. 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 Oh, this is also the... T- uh, yeah, okay. Never mind. Because Black Widow is the first movie going to be coming out before Eternals. I'm saying this is because of Phase 4. And I was thinking like, okay, because this right here is so like a new beginning of MCU. Because each of the phases is mm-hmm. a new beginning. But you got Black Widow coming out the first movie, so we already know that gonna um Yeah, Fake he said he might not even be doing phases. Yeah, you might only be doing phases yeah, no more. It's like the Infinity Saga that had those phases were the phases of the Infinity Saga. And what we get next, who knows? It might be like limited runs. It might be a series of these three movies, a series of that four movies, a series of you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all connected. Yep. And it we might bring be. it all together at the end. Unite the cosmic with the earthly, you know what I mean? Yep. What I'm wondering, you know, we about to go into it again. We better say that for later, because <laughs> even though I'm saying that looked like Nick Fury was up in sword. 
That's yeah, all I'm saying. That's, that's all I'm saying. I also I'm did, gonna, I'm gonna leave it at yeah, that. Yeah, and I did a video about that. Also, I put that in the link. Be, be, put that in the link also down below. I also did a video around when Captain Marvel when he was talking about Captain Marvel about they might be trying to go to sword because I sure hope so. Yeah. I did that a long time ago and it looked like at the end of the post credit of Spider Man Far From Home to the second post credit that's looked like where he was at, right there up in Sword. Yep. You know who else said something about that? My boy my boy um what's his name? I be watching uh, Armin. Armin. I want to see uh, CBC. CBC. Yeah, 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 they dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. CBC, what's up, fool? Yeah, shout out guy. CBC. Yeah, shout out. Shout out. So check him out. If you go out there and check his um, his CBC. If you when you go check out his um, um, YouTube channel, a great source of information. Put down in the comments that yeah, I came over here because Fenrir Moon from United Comic Universe said that you got a great channel. Yeah. All right. Cool. Shout out to that guy because you know he's a pretty cool guy with information. Yeah, man. So I'm here, all, like I'm saying, here to support anything to do with comics. What I mean by anything to do with comics on this channel, we if you about comics, we, we support, support you. you. We support you to the degree. If you have anything with comics, and it's a nice video, and you got it on a created comment. I will actually pull your video and post it on my own channel and let everybody know what original material came from. Be reason why? Because we are the comic universe. So I represent all. So if you a comic person, I represent you and I hope you do the same for me and represent me. I like that. <laughs> all right. We out this time. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are United Comic Universe. Please. We are comics. Okay. <laughs> we shouldn't do that again because we oh, everybody yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, okay. One more time. All, All right. right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. United Comic Universe. We are comics. There we go. Peace. <laughs>